everybody knows, well, at least us Americans, that bigger is better. In the 1980s, the General Electric CF6 was the biggest and baddest engine that airlines could hook to their planes. It powered a variety of aircraft, including the A330, 747, 767, and MD-11. In its heyday, it was one of the largest and most powerful jets in the world. Then, in 1995, a new power plant came along that put the CF6 to shame. It was nearly 20% larger and 65% more powerful. So what exactly is this beast of an engine and how on earth did it manage to demolish the record set by the venerable CF6? Let me explain. The engine in question is the General Electric GE90. Its development was spurred by airline demand in the early 90s for a new long-range jet that could carry 300 plus passengers. Up to that point, planes of that size required at least three engines, thanks in part to regulations that were being phased out at the time. Boeing recognized an opportunity. A wide-body twinjet with the same passenger and range capabilities of older three and four engine jets would weigh less and also cost less to maintain. So the 777 program was born. Such a large plane would require very powerful engines. Boeing came to engine manufacturers Rolls-Royce, Pratt & Whitney, and General Electric with this challenge. While all three jet manufacturers eventually developed their own proprietary jet engines for the 777 program, General Electric's was by far and away the best selling and the most impressive. This engine is truly a sight to behold. The most powerful GE90 variant, the 115B, has a fan diameter of 128 inches across. When accounting for its engine casing and its nacelle, the diameter of the entire engine grows to 12 and a half feet across. For comparison, this is about half of an inch wider than the diameter of the entire fuselage of the world's most popular plane, the Boeing 737. To go with its impressive size is an absolutely absurd amount of thrust. During flight testing, the GE90 put out nearly 128,000 pounds of thrust, a record that still stands today. This is about two-thirds of the thrust of SpaceX's Merlin 1D rocket engine that it uses to power its Falcon 9 rocket. It is so powerful, in fact, that a single GE90 could fully operate a massive 747 on its own power. It actually demonstrated this when it was hooked up for a flight test aboard GE's own 747 flying test bed. And uh, oh yeah, a 747 usually requires four of those aforementioned CF6s to stay airborne. Such staggering feats of engineering would not have been possible without some radical technological advancement. The most distinct and most visible advancement GE made to the GE90 engine were the fan blades. While traditional fan blades are made out of titanium, the GE90s are woven out of carbon composite materials. Not only does this make the fan blades significantly lighter and more durable, an absolute must for fan blades of this size, but it allows for the blades to be contorted and shaped in a way that maximizes airflow efficiency through the engine. Fun fact, not only are these fan blades ultra efficient, but they also look really unique. So unique in fact that the curators of the Museum of Modern Art in New York City decided to put one in their museum. Now Boeing will fly the next iteration 777, the 777X, later this year. When that happens, its engine, the GE9X, will supplant the GE90 as the largest jet engine in the world. However, because Boeing has aimed to make this new iteration 777 lighter 
And since it gave it a wing with a larger and more efficient span, its engine actually doesn't need to be as powerful as the GE90. As such, the GE90 will maintain its place as the world's most powerful jet engine for years to come. If you learned something new today, leave a like and comment down below your plane questions that you would like me to answer. Subscribe to keep learning and until I see you again, don't forget to look up.